Hey guys, today I'm going to do my favorite experiment, the Mentos and Coke experiment. Hopefully it works, because this Coke has been in my pantry for over one year. But... Wow, guys, this is so cool. Am I right, guys? Oh no, guys, it didn't work. Well, I think I know who has fresh sodas, Gus. Gus, I need your help. Can you do the Coke and Mentos experiment for me? Thank you, Gus. Hiya, little gators. Today, Mama and I are going to do some science experiments. That's right, Shug. First, we're going to experiment with Coke and Mentos. But then we're also going to try using gummy worms and something you probably wouldn't believe, sand. <laughs> sand? Uh, I think I know which one isn't going to work. <laughs> and don't forget, little gators, when doing these kinds of experiments, always use safety goggles to protect your eyes. And for our experiment, we'll be able to see which reaction goes the highest with our large measuring stick. Sounds great, Mama! Let's get started! First item up is the Mento Shug. Go ahead, drop them into the first beaker. Whoa! Give me that yummy gummy. I'm good the gummy eater. Look, Mama! The Mentos reaction is reaching the 10-foot mark! That is quite the reaction! Much higher than I would have guessed. And look how much soda is left in the beaker. Oh, maybe we can also use that to see which item has the strongest reaction. That's right, Shug. Good observation. All right, Mama. Are you ready for this gummy reaction to shoot straight to the moon? <laughs> Yeah, Shug, I'm ready. What? Really? Look at all that Coke that's just left in the beaker. This was a major fail. Oh, Shug, it's okay. I thought this would be the same as the Mentos because they both have sugar. Well, another theory is that the reaction is due to the texture of the item, not so much the sugar content. Texture? What do you mean, Mama? Well, the carbonation bubbles need a surface to react on. So, if the texture is more rough or grainy, the bubbles react more to that than if the surface was smooth, like with a gummy. This theory shows that the reaction is due to the texture and not the sugar. Oh, the gummy is smooth, so even though it has sugar, it's not rough enough to react with the carbonation. Exactly! This takes us to our last item to test out, the sand. Hmm, sand has a really grainy texture. So if you're right, Mama, this is going to be epic. All right, Shug, go ahead and pour the sand into the beaker. Oh, wow! 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 It worked, Mama! The texture of the sand sent the coke flying way past the measuring stick. <laughs> yeah, Gus, that's really something. And look, there's less coke left in the sand beaker than with the Mentos beaker. That means this reaction was definitely stronger. I didn't even think the sand would work, Mama, but that's why I love science. Hey, you two. What are y'all doing over here? Oh, hi, Dad. We were just finishing up our science experiment with Coke and Mentos. Oh, that's a classic. First, we tried to Coke with Mentos, and the reaction was awesome. The reaction reached the 10-foot mark on our measuring stick, and half of the Coke was gone from the beaker. Then we tried the Coke and gummies. I was so bummed that the reaction barely shot out of the beaker. And there was so much coke left over too. So we know the reaction wasn't very good. And finally, we tried some regular old sand for the last experiment. Believe it or not, the sand beat out the Mentos and gummies to win the first place in our science experiment. 
There was barely any Coke left in the beaker, too. So we know the reaction was huge. Whoa, sand, huh? I never would have guessed that. Me either. I think this experiment taught us all about how the Coke reacted differently with a sugary item and a textured item. You got that right, Mama. They were all super fun, too. Well, I hope to see you next time, little gators. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.